All right, so in this video, I want to demonstrate um, the in using choose match the functionality where you can find you might end up finding multiple instances of an image or pattern that you're looking for. So uh, let's go ahead and capture one. So I can, I'll hit this button just because my mouse is there. Um, let's say I wanted, uh, let's do this one. I don't know what these images are. All right, F1 again, and move your mouse away that <clears throat> to make sure that it's a has the white background and display matches. Wow, look at all of them, all except for this one, because of course it's gray, and if it mattered, um, it won't, but um, of course it's gonna be different when you're actually using it, right? Uh, but let's see if we can, yeah, it did not do what I wanted to do, whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, but the point is, it's only gonna match, <clears throat> display matches again, it's gonna miss out on the one that's highlighted, so if the one you want is highlighted, you might wanna do this twice, you could have it like an or kind of statement in the auto hotkey syntax. But let's uh, go back, let's say I wanted this 56. Unfortunately, I didn't notice the 56 is number 15. This is where I would come in here, choose match, 15. And the first thing I'd like to do is to say move, let's um, test it, and there it is, right on the 56. <clears throat> now let's uh, go ahead and we'll do a, a, a left, let's do actual click to make sure it works. Well, let's turn it off, let's see if it works. Right, um, and let's do a test. Interesting, so the control click, I think it, I saw it blip. Um, oh, of course it was, oh, you know what, maybe, no, I don't think so, let's test it again. No, it's getting there, um, but let's do the actual click. <clears throat> and there it goes, now it opened it. Oh, look at that, what a suave, handsome guy. <laughs> Uh, this was for my wedding years back. Anyway, so you get it. Um, that's how you would select which one you want. <clears throat> um, you could also, if you, if uh, depending if your image was tied to a given uh, um, class that is displayed in, like if this was somewhere else in another view, um, it probably doesn't come up in the index because we've locked it down to this class and this window title, right? So it's a great way to help um, narrow the focus uh, on, on what you're looking for. Um, anyway, hope that helps. Cheers.